wrote uh, 66 drafts and 1,224 storyboards and a manifesto and watched the film in my head every day. But by the time we started shooting, I was so nervous that it was going to be flat. And then Michelle came and became involved in 2003, and Ryan came involved in 2005, and they both, I consider them to be co-writers on the script with me because, you know, I'd spend countless hours with them and I'd have conversations with them over those years where I'd be so inspired at the end of it that I would, you know, rewrite the script based on, you know, their dialogue suggestions. It was that kind of movie. You never knew what was going to happen. So I told Ryan and Michelle when we started, I said, just please uh, surprise me, you know, let's make this alive. All I remember was like sitting on the stairs sort of in between takes or after setups or something and saying to Derek, I don't know why I can't stop crying. Like, I can't, there's something wrong. It was emotional. It was very emotionally draining. I just didn't feel like acting anymore. I didn't know what was going to happen. I, I don't really remember making the film. You know, I do, I remember parts of it, but we, the, in the way that we shot the film, it was very, um, the lines between reality and the, and the film uh, became very blurred. Derek drove us up to the house, uh, and it was uh, completely empty, and he said, now make it a home. We were, what we were basically trying to do was to make, Memories. Derek would film us while we were sleeping. You know, you wake up and the cameras were on, and then you go back into the scene. It was about uh, two people living in one world but being separated, you know? And so uh, what we did was we shot two red cameras. We put them as far away from the actors as possible so as to kind of abandon them in, in their world. And then we would put uh, long lenses, like the kind you would shoot lions in the safari with, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, just follow them relentlessly. Bobby Ontario. What's he doing there? I don't know. I mean, buying liquor, I guess. Jesus. How come you're just telling me now? I'm because I'm telling you now. How come you didn't tell me when we, when we were there? I was just so happy that these actors uh, allowed it to be chaotic. You know what I mean? Yeah. They let it get messy. We would fight. Ryan and I would spend all morning fighting. Learning how to fight, trying to fight, finding things to fight about, learning what sort of drove us, drove our characters crazy about each other. The details, like how the devil's in the details. Don't let him brainwash you. Can you give me you. a hand with this? Don't Come let on. him brainwash you. Can you give me a hand? If it's a murder mystery, uh, you know, you meet this beautiful couple in the beginning of the film and you see that their love's been shot down in cold blood and you spend the rest of the film retracking their footsteps trying to figure out who, who done it, you know. And uh, maybe it's time. Just so you know. <laughs> Good to know. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought about her as somebody whose exhaust light was on. The effects of time, exhaustion, um, and being stretched. I'm surprised to see you. Oh, this is where the smiles happen. Is this the smile room? Huh? You take off, you leave me, you don't tell me what's going on. I was so goddamn worried, I thought something might have happened, Frankie. I don't know what the hell happened. In regards to the NC-17, first off, we're, we're, we never set out to make an NC-17 movie. Um, we wanted to make a movie that looked at uh, love and relationships and everything that comes with love and relationships. And one of those things that comes with love and relationships is sex, trying to look at it with honesty and with a certain rawness. And we didn't try to eroticize the sex and we didn't try to titillate it. And we just tried to show it and let it be part of their characters. I'm happy that they humbled themselves, you know, and overturned it unanimously. And, uh, and we didn't have to touch a frame of the movie. The film is meant to start a dialogue with the audience and say, well, what do you think about this? You know, what do you, what do, you, what do you think love isn't enough? Or what happens to love? Where does it go? It's like that song, baby, baby, where did our love go? You know, why is it that you could... You, you know, you you feel like you could die uh, without someone, and then as soon as you have to share a bathroom, you want to kill him. Slow dance to this part. And if I were old, your heart last night, it's because. I love you. Oh. 